today's episode of This Old House. We're getting a new fence. So they're going to repair that whole back fence. We got a little opening over here. We got a little issues on the side fence. They're going to come and repair all of them. Alright, there goes the final product. Brand new fence. And it took them about four, five, six hours. All right, we're out here. We're trying to feed the birds four pieces and, and throw it up towards the grass. See if they come. All right, your turn. See if anybody come. Try throwing one this way. I don't see any birds. Now we got to wait because I don't want you to throw them down here. And then they not come. Break We're feeding right the up. birds. Go get the big pieces of bread and break that up. Go get the show. Go break that up. <laughs> Jazzy. <laughs> she, break that up. she threw it and knocked them on the head. Break it up. No, break it. Break it into <laughs> no, break it into small pieces. They can't eat all that. Jazzy. Go by the fence. Go put it by the fence. Go put it in front of the fence. Well, where the birds at? I saw one when I walked yeah, out here. Where? In the tree right there. What tree? You got to break that up. Get away, Jazz. Come on, Jazz. Throw it, Jazzy. Throw it. Throw Th it. Where? No, throw it on the grass, Jazzy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Sean, don't make noise. Throw it on the grass, Jazzy. All right, on drop it. Grass. Okay, thank you. Oh. Oh. Come over here. Come over here. Yeah, I, I just need to get... No, 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 no. All right, Sean. Step back to see if they'll get it. Step back to see if they'll get it. This is too big. Wait a second, Keisha. God, dog. <laughs> Don't go throwing more. Sure. So this for tomorrow. So. Sure. Yeah. That's too much. We got it, Sean. Sure. We got it. I just wanted to see if they was going to come uh, eat. Drop it. Drop it. And no bird came. Because they don't know it's here. Well, how would yeah, they know? Wait a All right. They might have to do this for two days. We just did this. One will tell the rat, one will tell two, and then two will tell more, and then they'll be here all the time. This is the first time I didn't came out here. Them dogs ain't born. Oh, they don't? Yeah. No way. They yeah. Dogs. Yeah, they are. I no, I just saw one pair just now. I'm looking. Oh, I see. <laughs> Oh, here they come. Here they come. Oh, you I was loud. I was too loud. Okay, back up, back up, back up. Back up. Another one in the back up. Break out of lane. Stop moving. Just stand still. And wait and watch. It takes a while. Why are they? Gosh. Then quiet. It takes a while to watch for it. Be very patient. Y'all, here they come. All right, so I wanted to get on here and record this real quick because I got some great news. I was able to get my computer working. Oops, hold on. All right, so my iMac now works. So now I'm able to um, use the intro, which you probably saw in this video. I'm able to use my old intro and outro. So we're back up and running. Um, I got uh, a couple of new items for the home studio, and I'll show it to you now. So I got a new desk, and I put some LED lighting underneath. Uh, let me turn off the light and show you how it looks. All right, so it goes all the way around. All right, so I got the keyboard there. This is for studio. I need to get another speaker. My other one blew out. And here is where I do, I work from home. Um, to, so I use this one desk. I got it from Walmart, very inexpensive. So yeah, I'm all set. Uh, a lot has been going on since I last talked to you guys. Um, majority of you guys 
uh, saw that I was coaching at an organization. Um, so I'm no longer at that organization. Um, after the fall winter season ended, I decided to uh, leave the organization. Our directors who had pro experience and um, Euro League experience and things like that, they decided to step down. Um, they were the main reason why I decided to join that organization. So uh, as they left, I felt the need to also leave. I don't have another coaching situation going on now. Um, if something comes along that sounds great, um, I will pursue that. But my girls ended the season uh, on a high note. We came in second place in a, a tournament. Uh, we were against three teams, and we won the first game by three in overtime. We won the second game by like 15. And then the third ranked game, uh, we lost that game, which uh, left us with the second best record in the tournament. Which had us, which had us coming in second place. Um, so yeah, I'm getting back to doing my music now that I got my studio equipment up and running. Uh, my daughter's birthday is tomorrow, so you'll see some footage of that. Um, it's going to be at home with some close uh, family, not too many people because of uh, obviously COVID. And then um, later today is actually. Uh, North Carolina versus Duke. So that's going to come on in about an hour. Um, so I got some items from Amazon coming over. Um, again, Jasmine's party is uh, tomorrow. She makes nine. Um, so we're preparing for that. Um, so yeah, I'll get back into the swing of things. Um, keep you guys updated and let's see what we can get into. Oh, I, I, I do plan on upgrading this camera. Uh, this is a DJI Osmo Pocket. There's a DJI Osmo Pocket 2. Looks just like this one, maybe a little bigger. Um, but it has zoom in and zoom out and some other features that I think would be really cool to add to this channel. So um, I'll let you know if I get that. Say that one, two, three, don't. Oh, I said jump, Jasmine. Stand right there, don't touch on nothing. Just look pretty and smile. Like I got your name. Here we go. Look at daddy. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. All right, so it's a snow day. Kids don't have school. And they're about to go in the backyard to play. Because there's nothing but snow. We actually don't have no any power. All right, y'all ready? Oh, oh. We'll have some fun. That's the backyard. Look at him go. Would you look at that? Jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Oh, you silly. All the boys have the time of his life. Now, is he gonna remember this ten years from now? I don't know. He gonna look at this video and remember. Oh yeah. Oh, look at Jasmine. She made enough. She eating it. Look at this. Look at this. I'm not surprised. Not surprised. Nah, she get dysentery. Then what? Dysentery. <laughs> All right. So the the 
the city is doing rolling blackouts, so our area uh, does not have power. Uh, power went off at about, I would say 2, 2.30 this morning, but uh, it's like almost 11 o'clock, still no power. Um, it's not that bad. It's, it, our room is horrible because it sits towards the front of the house where there's no sun. As you get towards the back of the house, um, it's a lot of sun and a little warmer. So kids just want to come have some fun. Since they don't have since they don't have any school today, they just want to come have some fun. <laughs> Jazzy making snow angels. And here we are, day two. Still no power. Um, it's about 10 something in the morning. Uh, we slept in a closet, a walk-in closet, just to try to conserve some of our body heat and keep the room cold. Didn't seem like it really helped as much as we expected it to. But we're doing whatever we can to try to keep the room hot. Um, right now, Keith just fixing our breakfast. And um, still snow outside. It's kind of melting. So we expect it all to probably be gone tonight. So, let's see. Here's Keisha's cooking. And there's Jasmine. Mm, Sean is upstairs. So yeah, a good portion of our area is um, is out. Um, I snored a lot last night because um, I, we, since we didn't have electricity, I couldn't use my breathing machine, which made me sleep horrible or horribly. And right now I have a sore throat um, because of all the snoring. So I'm checking on family. Most of them are still going through the same thing that we're going through. Um, so it makes no real reason to complain. Uh, we just thank God that we made it through another night. Hopefully tonight they turn the power back on. Um, you know, we've been talking to our neighbors outside. and They pretty much have been sitting in the car getting warm. So uh, I'm going to show you all outside in a second. All right, so here's the backyard. still kind of looks... Like a day yesterday, but still, some of the um, ice is melting. All right, y'all, I'm gonna try to do this video. As you can see or notice, the lights went back out again. And right now, we've camped out in the game room. Um, I made a little pallet. I don't know if you'll be able to see. We got Jasmine and Sean, and we've made a little cushion section. And so far, this is the warmest spot in the house. We got pretty much all we need. Uh, phones are still working. We got a backup charger. Um, so lights stayed on for about five hours and then went right back off um we got to warm up the house hopefully this stays a little longer um it doesn't get as chilly last night we were in a closet an interior closet still was cold um, but we'll see how things work out but if anything changes i'll let y'all know all right so we're at dinner on night three Still no power. I haven't had power since yesterday at about 5.30. No, we, have power power we haven't had power since 5.30 yesterday. That's what I'm saying. Um, nobody can see me. So, 
Um, here we are. Hopefully, we'll get it together by. Eat that. You have some shrimp. It's in your rice. Sometime. Sometime soon, but we'll Eat. figure it out. All right, so the lights came back on. Um, been on for about maybe two hours. Um, but looks like in the city they're doing rolling blackouts. So when mine's was off, my sister had lights, my brother had lights, my mom had lights. When mine came back on, all theirs went off. So looks like it's we're swapping back and forth. My hope is that at least we can get this on through the night or stay on during the night because that's obviously when it's the most cold or the coldest so um and we want the kids to sleep comfortably we haven't had a comfortable night's sleep like talking about in a while especially me um due to what uh my my sleep apnea so uh yeah we're just chilling right now we're enjoying the warmth um Everybody's, you know, kind of in their own little space, but we're just trying to plan. I actually was going through an Amazon list to plan for if ever this happens again, how we're not stuck out, how we can make sure uh, we're on top of everything. And then hopefully tomorrow morning we still have lights. I'm going to run out and fill up the gas tank um, because I need some gas. And, um,. Yeah, we'll see how tomorrow goes. And just like that, we wasn't all five minutes before I signed off. And we are back in the dark. So we're going to situate, we're going to go up and situate them and set up for the night. It's about 1030, so it's time to go to sleep anyways. And hopefully we'll be back on soon. All right, so I happened to look at the last clip on this camera and realized I never informed you guys when the lights came back on um, because they were iffy. It was coming on, it was going off, it was coming on. Um, but after the after that clip, maybe an hour later, the lights came on and they stayed on. So I'm um, a lot has happened since then as far as information we found out about the Houston uh, outage and uh, some people died of hypothermia. Um, thank God it wasn't us. And people who actually were um, layered up and bundled up. <clears throat> what helped us out, I think, is that we were able to um, use our body heat, each other's body heat, which helped. Um, we also had a window of wind of a couple hours where the power did come back on. And the first thing we did was heat up the house so that if it went back out, um, it's not gonna be too hard to stay warm. So um, it wasn't anything we wanna go through again. I made a list of some items to uh, have us prepared trust me if that specific thing ever happens again this family will be prepared we won't be hot our, our food won't spoil i mean we won't be cold our food won't spoil we'll be thoroughly prepared and we'll make sure that our family is prepared so um before i end this video there is something i do want to do So I did buy these lights to go in my office. So the lights are going to start and ignore that little stripe. Uh, the TV has some damage. I did put that TV up if I didn't show you guys. So it's going to start down in this corner, go all the way up. And then I have one stream of lights going in this direction and one going in the other direction around the top of around the top of my office 
All right, so um, we just got a step stool that's pretty large now, large enough for me to reach the ceiling. So I'll work on that tonight. And if I get done tonight, so I'll let you see the outcome. I'll let you know how long it took me. And um, I'll let you know where you can get these lights. I found them on Amazon, but I'll uh, tell you how much I paid for them and whatnot. So let me get to work. All right, so here's the final product. Uh, I'm not completely done because uh, there's some clips I need to do and I need to redo that section. It does not go all the way around, but it's the majority of the room. There's a portion that does not have it. It took me about 45 minutes, maybe a little less to put together. And see these little black gaps right there. I'm about to do something with those. But yeah, all together it took about 45 minutes to put together. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog right here because there's some things um, I'm about to get into, and uh, I think this vlog is going on long enough, so I will talk to you bland members later. You hear me?